Hi, I'm James Molesworth, Senior Editor at Wine Spectator and Lead Taster of the Wines of Chile. In my previous video with Aurelio Montes, we discussed the factors that make the Apalta Valley a unique growing area in Chile. In this segment, Aurelio and I taste through a vertical of his flagship Alpha M, a Cabernet Sauvignon-based bottling produced from his vineyards in the Apalta area of the Colchagua Valley. Going through the full lineup of vintages was pretty exciting, and here we'll focus on those that capture the key moments of evolution of the Alpha M Cuvée, from the polished 96 to the racy 03 vintage. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Well, we're going to go through a vertical from 1996 up to uh, 2004 of this uh, Montes Alpha M blend. And to start with the 1996, uh, at that stage, we didn't incorporate any Petit Verdot in the blend, so this is roughly an 80% of Cab Sob, 10% Cab Franc, and 10% uh, Merlot. The concentration here is uh, it's not as huge as I would have expected, but the low yields that tend to be four, four to five tons to the hectare do the, the, the real job. I think that the wine is still holding very well, it's still showing a lot of fruitness. Um, it's, a delico, it's, a, it's a delicate wine, it's very elegant, it's, it's, it's not a huge wine, but it has, you know, a lot of, 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 of elegance. So tell us a little bit how you make the wine, um, and changes have happened over the years, uh, what's the basic vinification, and what do you do in the vineyards uh, to choose this wine? Yeah, well, the first thing is that we uh, make a very strict choice of the grapes at the level of the vineyard. We go to the vineyard and see the best parcels, where the soil is quite uh, granitic, uh, there's not much vigor in the plant, so uh, there's a huge concentration. After the selection is made, we wait for a full ripeness. You know, of course, uh, that we think that to get a, to achieve a real good wine with a big expression of its real fruit and soft tannins, you need to wait longer than we used to do in old days. Mm -hmm. We use sorting tables at the level of the clusters and then at the level of the berries one by one. So if there's any rot or any sort of problem, we get rid of that nasty part of the, of the cluster mm -hmm. or we take the, sp the specific berries that are not, you know, uh, at the level of the quality. So at the end, what we have in the tank is pure good fruit. Now let's move to the 99, which again was a, a dry and warmer year, mm -hmm. so we could ripe the grapes more than, than usual. At what point did you change the varietal makeup in the wine. You started with the predominantly Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc um, in well, the early days and then that recipe yeah. has changed a little bit. Uh, the first move towards something different within the blend of the Alpha M was in 1999, the precise wine that we have now. And we incorporated a 5% of Petit Verdot mm -hmm. that we planted in the slopes, in Apalta slopes as well, and it has been uh, behaving so well, you know. We still have a lot, lot of fruit, the, the wine has the meatiness that it didn't have the previous year. Mm -hmm. And it has this tiny little spice in his ear that it's revealing the presence of the Petit Verdot, which is what I call a more wilder part of the blend. Mm -hmm. I think that as we move along in the, in the different vintages, I think that we're getting lots of extra things. We're getting an, 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 another variety into the blend. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the vines are older and they're self-balanced and the winemaker is, old, is older as well. So mm -hmm. uh, everything adds Just in a this little case. Bit older. A little bit older <laughs> and wiser. <laughs> wiser is the key part. <laughs> So now we have the, the 2000 vintage, uh, but tell us about the 2000 Alpha M. Well, the 2000, uh, we started to do some extra things in order to concentrate more and more this wine, that's what I felt that we needed. Considering that it was a rather cold year again with a mild to cold spring and a slightly rainy summer, we decided to start with a bleeding process. And the bleeding process is just taking a part of the juice before fermentation takes place out of the tank. Mm -hmm. So in that way, the remaining juice is exposed to the same amount of skins, and that all turns into higher concentration in terms of flavors, of body, of tannins, of color. This winemaking practices, they are giving its positive results. So you would say that the wines you're making today are better than the wines you made five years ago? I, I, don't, I have no doubt of that. You and I both agree that when the O3s came out, that was probably Chile's best vintage up until that point. It was I think really so. a superb vintage. I think so, yeah. Has all that power, but it's still very much uh, an elegant, supple wine, yeah. great length uh, with, with dried currant fruits and mm -hmm. a little bit of yeah. coffee. Uh, it doesn't have that big, powerful in your face, uh, California That's or Australia it. Yeah. style. Yeah. It's really showing a massive amount of black fruit, of, of, of blackberries here. You get the oak aging, the barrel aging, which is, by the way, about 18 months in mm -hmm. French, new French oak. Mm -hmm. It's totally integrated into the wine. And at the level of the mouth, it's a real meaty, uh, full-bodied wine. 
And now we're getting a little sneak peek at the 2004 Alpha M, which has just been released. But it's very much in the Alpha M style, which after eight vintages here, uh, really gets defined. Uh, it's a wine of, of power, but elegance at the same time. And the fruit profile is red currants, black currants. Uh, there's a nice minerality there. Uh, there's a toasty aspect to it, but your your oak is integrated and, and it's judicious. Yeah, and it's yeah. really a, a wine that delivers both power and balance at the same time. Yeah, of course. We have some tools to work with in the years that you know that it will be complicated. Watering, canopy management, uh, crop thinning, mm -hmm. you know, taking out the clusters that you know that they are too many in the vineyard. So when you do all those things, you tend to uh, balance, you know, the, the year if it's showing not to be very good. Mm -hmm. I think that 04, it's one example of this. The year wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best of all. So we could do some practices during the growing season that is showing at the end that the wine is uh, pretty well balanced and, and in the style that I'm uh, normally shows. Well, I appreciate you bringing the vintages in. I asked you uh, when you got here today uh, how often you do a vertical like this, and you said almost never it's too expensive. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks for bringing uh, a complete vertical of your Alpha M, and uh, we appreciate your time. And well, I really enjoyed it. Cheers and cheers. Thank you. So.